Hi, Vince Math. It must be Math by Amiya. Welcome again to the world of Math by Amiya. So there is a basic geometry question in front of you. I would say please pause the video and try to solve this question. So I hope you have solved the question. बहुत basic सा है. It one is one of the easiest question of geometry daily dose, but it has a basic geometry. So we need to find what is the ratio of the area of blue part to that of red part if ABCD is a parallelogram and E and F are the midpoint of respective sides. So it's quite easy. The blue part is thirty percent of the parallelogram. I'm again saying if the parallelogram area is hundred percent, which is obviously for the parallelogram, then the blue part is the thirty percent of the parallelogram. Please make a note. Since the blue part is the thirty percent of the parallelogram, so we can say the red part, the remaining part is nothing but seventy percent of the parallelogram. So the ratio is nothing but three to seven. So this one is what I have given you direct outcome. Now, if you want to get the screenshot of this one, I would say please pause the video, take the screenshot, or you can follow me on these social handles where I am going to upload the screenshot of this clip. Fine. Now it's time for the proof. What is the best proof of this question? The method you have used is the best method for you. But I am going to say what is the simplest method to find the ratio of the parallelogram. If you have a ratio and you have under the parallelogram then the best and the simplest method for me is nothing but coordinate geometry since we have to find the ratio to assume the parallelogram is a square assume a parallelogram is a square with side 10 why 10 because it's easy to find everything in a percentage so we considered parallelogram is a square for the ratio it will give the same answer as a ratio though value could be different but the ratio should be same why i have taken the 10 due to the percentage conversion easy for the 10 because the square area becomes the 100 And use the coordinate geometry. So what I want to say for finding ratio under parallelogram, just consider it is as a square on coordinate geometry plane for the side ten, and get all the coordinates. So let's draw this parallelogram on the coordinate plane. So this is our parallelogram. I have taken A as the origin. B is nothing but ten zero because side is ten. Then C is ten ten. D is zero ten. F is five ten midpoint. E is nothing but zero five midpoint. And G is two comma four. How comes? You can use the equation of line and get the intersection or the slope intersect formula. Okay, this one is again a take a fifty to sixty second ka diagram. Now, since we have the side is ten, so we can say the area of parallelogram ABCD should be nothing but hundred. Side square is the area of parallelogram. I want to say you must know the area of each section. From here to here, side is five. From here to here, the height is nothing but ten. So area of this part is nothing but five into ten divided by two is nothing but twenty-five. So we can say if the area of parallelogram is hundred unit, area of this section is nothing but twenty-five unit or the one fourth. It is quite visible. Now, what is the area of this triangle AGB? The base distance is nothing but ten, and the height means y-axis is nothing but four divided by two is nothing but twenty unit. Or we can say one fifth of the area of parallelogram. Perfectly fine. What is the area of A E G? This height is nothing but five unit. This height is nothing but two unit for the x-axis. So this into this divided by two. So this is nothing but five unit. Or we can say one twentieth part of the parallelogram. This if condition these two are nothing but midpoints. Now we know. This height is five, or the length is five. Height is ten, so the area of ADF is also twenty-five. We have five. This becomes twenty unit. Again, we can say the area of EGFD should be one fifth of the area of ABCD parallelogram. We have twenty-five, twenty-five, fifty, and twenty is seventy. So the remaining area, that is blue part, should be the thirty percent area of the parallelogram. So I want to say, please pause the video, take the screenshot. If the area of ABCD is hundred unit, this one is nothing but five, twenty, twenty-five, twenty, and thirty unit respectively in the ratio terms. And these are the in the ratio term, not the value term. So this one is one of the best and the simplest method of getting the area ratio under the parallelogram in any condition. Draw on the coordinate plane, get the coordinates, and solve the question. And I hope you remember all these values, or you are able to find these value with the help of coordinate or similarity. Now it's time for the homework. So this one is the homework of the daily dose. I would say please pause the video, read the question, and try to solve this question with the help of your today's learning. 
and at the last i want to say if you have not subscribed the channel must subscribe press the bell icon to get all the notification and share among your friends and you can follow me on these social handles so with more learnings and questions we are coming again on the next day so stay tuned with us god bless you happy learning and bye bye